All right, I'm back on the track, this time with cheese sauce. All right, so um, this is the beginning of all cream sauces. You can substitute a few things, but basically this is it. So you start with, that's right, some butter. And uh, you take off a chunk. We're going to make a, a fair amount here, so I'm going to put in about three tablespoons worth of butter. And you're going to turn this on sort of medium-low. And then you want to take the same amount in terms of uh, tablespoons of flour. And, you know, there's really no point in measuring. If you think you got about the same, and you put that in, and you call that good enough, and of course it's got to melt. Then you're going to need now, I use regular old milk. I use 1%, but it makes no difference what you what you use. Um, and um, I oftentimes will put in cream. I don't have cream here, but I had some evaporated milk. So get yourself a can of evaporated milk. I looked around and I couldn't find an opener, so I'm just going to use, that's right, one of these things. Oh, first I've always noticed it says... Uh, shake well and uh, I don't really think it makes any difference whether you shake at all but you know there I go I shook and I'm gonna open it you know halfway so I can get stuff out but so I still have a top well, I'm sorry you have to go through seeing this I don't know, I'll cut myself here won't I? all right because uh, you need either cream or evaporated milk to make it sort of a little on the thicker side. You don't want it real thin. And to stir this, you use a wire whip. If you ever see anybody use a whisk for this, they don't know what they're doing. A whisk is a fine thing if you're going to stir up some egg whites. But if you're doing a sauce, use the real thing, which is the wire whip. And you combine your butter with your flour. And once you've done the best you can do, doing that, then you add some milk. Because it's right here, I'm just going to start with this rather than the regular milk, but it doesn't make any difference what. And then you have to keep stirring. And you keep your temperature on, you know, medium low. The higher the temperature, the faster this goes, but the greater chance you have of having lumps. You don't want a lump. I just poured all of that in there, because why not? Now that's going to get reasonably thick, so that's when I'm going to add regular old milk. Uh, you need pepper. Again, the only pepper grinder you need is this one. And we're going to probably go back to pepper several times and some salt. And when I say butter, like everyone else, I use non-salted butter. So that then you get to add it. That's always fun. Keep stirring. Now this is not thickening up much. We it will get thicker. Uh, and now I'm going to add some cheese. And any old cheddar will do. I use Tillamook medium cheddar. But it doesn't make any difference what you use. You can use any kind of cheese too, except possibly mozzarella. Mozzarella gets really too um, stringy and syrupy. And you need to cut your cheese down into smaller bits or you'll be here all day. And as you see, I'm preparing a lot of cheese. The more cheese you put in, the more it tastes like cheese sauce, as opposed to just plain white sauce. Alright, and you plop your, uh, you don't place it in, you plop it in, you throw it in. And it doesn't make any difference what shapes they're in. They just have to melt. Smaller the pieces, faster the melting. And this is all common sense. 
And this is going to take, you know, a minute or two, so it's kind of boring. Becky, what story should I tell? Well, what do you want me to say? I thought you were going to chide me for preferring the other wired whisk to that one. Oh, well, I would. <laughs> whisk is good if you're, you know, going to make a Caesar salad sauce at the table. Short of that, whisks are for wusses. <laughs> well, no, I mean, all these idiots on TV use whisk. It's like they don't even know what a wire whip is. But then again, you don't see them making sauces like this because, look, it just takes too damn long. <laughs> they can do a dissolve and suddenly they'd have it done, which they do sometimes for things, of course. There's a cooking show in Belgium that does everything in real time. Really? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> he even washes his own dishes. Uh, you won't see me doing that. That's why you're here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know that's not the case. But... And by the way, you should always have a painting in your kitchen. Excellent tea, Becky. Excellent.